in this lecture i have to discuss about the optical fiber characteristics and the classification in earlier lecture i have discussed about the total internal reflections and uh, acceptance angle with the, with the numerical aperture so how basically one can explain the total internal reflections by using the two mediums and the acceptance angle related to the optical fiber and then uh, numerical aperture and numerical aperture uh, we define we discuss in terms of the acceptance angle and the refractive indices of the three mediums one was the air where we have basically that optical fiber is kept second is the refractive index of the core and third was the refractive index of the cladding so in earlier lecture as i told you that we have discussed about it and now the point about the uh, characteristics of the optical fiber and the classification when we say that classification classification means uh, we are categorizing the optical fiber on the basis of refractive indices so there are main uh, two one is the step index profile and second is the graded index profile and then further uh, we categorize on the basis of mode so as i told you that on the basis of this uh, index profile um, we categorize it into two that step index optical fiber and the graded index optical fiber then on the basis of modes that uh, single mode step index optical fiber multi mode step index optical fiber graded index multi mode graded index optical fiber so like this these are three multi mode basically carries with the graded index and step index optical fiber and uh, single mode is possible only with the uh, step index optical fiber so this is the categorization and now for the some point related to the uh, characteristics of the optical fiber that characteristics of the optical fiber basically depends on some factor but these factors are number one composition of the optical fiber means uh, the refractive index of the optical fiber so if one have to uh, characterize the optical fiber the number one is the composition of the optical fiber composition means the refractive index of the core second is the type of light introduced into the fiber the wavelength basically uh, which we use for the optical signal into the uh, optical fiber so first is the point of uh, composition of the core second is the wavelength and third is the diameter of the core and length so these are mainly three uh, points three parameters to uh, characterize a optical fiber number one composition second is the wavelength and third is the diameter of the core and length of the optical fiber so on the basis of this uh, we say that optical fiber when we are saying uh, the title is uh, this fiber characteristics and classification so as i told you that characteristics of the optical fiber is determined by the composition of what material basically we have used for the core that means the refractive index and one basically through the n1 we define the refractive index of the core so n1 is the refractive index of the core second point is about the wavelength 
टाइप ऑफ द लाइट दैट इज वेवलेंथ एंड थर्ड पॉइंट इज द डायमीटर ऑफ द कोन द डायमीटर ऑफ द कोन दैट इज डिफाइंड बाय टू ए जनरली फिर ए इज द रेडियस ऑफ द कोन so these are mainly three points by which one can characterize the optical fiber and now the classification of the optical fiber when we talk about the classification we say that number one is a step index optical fiber number two gradient index optical fiber graded index optical fiber this is also step index optical fiber so these are two basically categorized on the basis of index profile so how one can define the step index optical fiber so and the second point is related to the graded index optical fiber and then further modes on the basis of guided modes basically that is single or multi single mode or multi modes and on this basis of the combination of these further the optical fiber single mode single mode step index optical fiber number 2 multi mode step index optical fiber and number 3 multi mode graded index optical fiber so uh, we generally uh, play with these uh, three types of the optical fiber so this is the classification of the optical fiber single mode step index optical fiber multi mode step index optical fiber and the graded index optical fiber so now the point is how one can categorize and or can differentiate between the step index optical fiber and the graded index optical fiber so the first point about the classification of the optical fiber is this type index optical fiber so i'm making here this this type index optical fiber so as name indicate that this type index optical fiber we know the construction of the optical fiber this is the central part which is known as the core this one is the central axis axis of the core so this is core refractive index of the core is angle and the two second part is cladding this is cladding and refractive index of the cladding is n2 so in case of the step index optical fiber the index profile of the core and cladding basically determine the shape of the step index optical fiber so in step index optical fiber the refractive index of the core remain constant this remain constant up to the core cladding interface and then after 
it drastically change abruptly change at the core cladding interface so the point is about the refractive index the refractive index of the core material remain constant throughout the core this is the central axis so both the side of the upside and downside refractive index is n1 but when it reach up to the cladding it abruptly change a sharp change basically we observe and that can be explained on the basis of this picture like this this and this is the chain so in terms of these steps these are the steps it ends here and then it sharply increases so in a step index optical fiber the refractive index of the core remain constant throughout the core and then abruptly change at the core cladding interface and that is n2 and we already know about the relation of this n1 and n2 n1 is always greater than n2 so n1 is the refractive index of the core and n2 is the refractive index of the cladding so this is the condition so this is our first type of optical fiber that is step index optical fiber and now the gradient index optical fiber gradient index optical fiber so this optical fiber is defined on the basis of index profile and the structure is almost same this is the core central axis of the of the core this is cladding core refractive index is defined by n1 and this one is cladding to protect the core and refractive index is n2 the difference between the step index and gradient index is about only the core here the refractive index of the core remain constant but in gradient index optical fiber the refractive index of the core is maximum at the central axis and then it decreases gradually up to the core cladding interface in case of gradient index optical fiber the refractive index of the core is maximum at the center and from the central axis from this point up to the core cladding interface it decreases gradually right so the maximum refractive index is here and then it is decreasing gradually and here at the core cladding interface it becomes n2 so the refractive index here maximum point is n1 so on the basis of index profile one can define then n r this is the radius of the core this one is the radius of the cladding with a and b respectively a is the radius of the core b is the radius of the cladding so here as i said earlier there refractive index is changing with respect to distance with respect to the radial distance so n is a function of r and this can be defined as n r is equal to n1 
is square to 1 minus 2 delta 2 r upon d whole square. This is square. So here d is equal to 2 a. d is the diameter of the core and a is the radius. r this radial distance is less than a that means we are defining the refractive index of the core and when r is greater than a it means we are defining the refractive index of the cladding so m1 is square root 1 minus 2 delta is equal to n2 and here r is equal to or greater than t that means we have defined the refractive index of the cladding and for the gradient index optical fiber the numerical aperture is equal to the square root of n square r minus n2 square where n r is the core index at radial distance at radial distance r from the core axis n1 is the core index delta is the this one this delta is the fractional refractive index fractional refractive index d is the diameter of the core d is the diameter of the core and here i have mentioned 2 so basically this is the value of alpha alpha is the index profile for the core so alpha is the grading profile index number so I have considered here alpha is equal to 2 that means it is a parabolic so in case of graded index optical fiber if we select alpha is equal to 2 it means the index profile of the core is parabolic so these are the basic difference between the step index optical fiber and graded index optical fiber the main point is about the index of core and here in case of the step index optical fiber the numerical aperture is defined as n naught sin theta a where n naught is the refractive index of the air and theta a is the maximum angle that is called acceptance angle and this part equal to n1 square minus n2 square further this can be defined as n1 is square root 2 delta so in case of the step index optical fiber one can define the numerical aperture by this way and in case of graded index optical fiber this is the way of refractive index and then 
the numerical aperture. So by this way, we have defined the step index optical fiber and graded index optical fiber. And now the point is single mode and multi mode. Single mode means when the signal uh, travel through this core parallel to the central axis of the core. If all the signals are parallel to the central axis of the core, we say that it is single mode. Right? But if in addition to the axial ray, which are parallel to the central axis, one meridional ray, this one at the extreme angle, that is theta a, and in addition to this, other rays which enter through this acceptance cone, known as multi-mode step index optical fiber. So all these rays basically which enters through the acceptance cone get multiple reflection inside the core. So by this way. So this is the multi-mode step index optical fiber. So the single mode, in case of single mode, all the modes basically are parallel to the axial ray and in case of multi-mode, there are number of light rays basically which enter through the cone. So at different different angles. So this is the multi-mode step index optical fiber and in case of graded index optical fiber, the light ray basically travel in this form. So this is the representation of multi-mode graded index optical fiber. Now what is the difference between the multi-mode step index optical fiber and multi-mode graded index optical fiber? You know that the refractive index of the core is uniform in step index optical fiber. So there are two rays, one is axial ray, this one. This is parallel to the central axis, so I am saying this is the axial ray number 1 and the second ray which is extreme ray, this at the maximum angle, right. So I have to receive this signal at this particular end. The refractive index of the core is constant. So, which ray travel faster, axial ray or the meridional ray or this extreme ray? If you see carefully here, the axial ray passes directly and the extreme ray gets multiple reflection inside the core and because of that it travels more distance as compared to the axial ray and reach later as compared to the axial ray. So there is time lag between the signal. So to overcome from this dispersion, the in graded index optical fiber, all these signals basically reach at the same time. The refractive index of the core at the central axis is higher, so the speed 
the speed of the light ray will slower as compared to this light ray which is near about to the core colliding interface. So in graded index optical fiber the problem which came into the step index optical fiber for multi-mode key is removed automatically by varying the, uh, by varying the refractive index. So now in the next uh, point we have to check the other characteristics of the uh, single mode, the step index optical fiber, uh, multi mode step index optical fiber and multi mode graded index optical fiber. What are the dimension of the core cladding and how much basically they provide the attenuation and where we use these optical fibers. So it was related to the characteristics of the optical fiber. The characteristics defining of the optical fiber by the three parameters. Number one is the composition of the material that basically gives the information of refractive index. Second is the operating wavelength and the third is diameter of the core and length of the optical fiber. And in second section of the lecture you have seen classification of the optical fibers. We categorize it into three parts on the basis of index profile. So one was the step index optical fiber, second was the graded index optical fiber. In graded index optical fiber you have seen that refractive index of the core uh, changes, varies and it is maximum at the central axis and then it gradually decreases up to the core cladding interface. So now the basic properties of the optical fibers. So in case of single mode step index optical fiber, this is single mode step index optical fiber. What are the characteristics? What are the basic dimensions of the core and cladding and then buffer coating? So these are the points in this particular section. So A in A part single mode step index optical fiber, the diameter of the core, core diameter is 7 to 11 micrometer. Cladding diameter is generally 125 micrometer. and coating diameter coating diameter is 200 to 300 micrometer buffer jacket is diameter of it 500 micrometer to 1000 micrometer and in case of single mode step index optical fiber the numerical aperture range is numerical aperture in case 
of the step index optical fiber is 0 0.08 to 0.15 so these are basic dimension of the core and cladding and then the buffer jacket so in case of single mode the core diameter is very small that is 7 micrometer to 11 micrometer in general they keep 10 micrometer and the range of numerical aperture is very very small 0 0.08 to 0 0.15 so other properties the dimension now the performance of this optical fiber Two to five decibel per kilometer with a scattering limit with a scattering limit of around one decibel per kilometer at a wavelength of 0 0.85 micrometer bandwidth greater than 500 megahertz kilometer greater than 500 megahertz kilometer this is the bandwidth of the single mode step index optical fiber application these fibers are limiting and these fibers, single mode step index optical fiber, are best suitable for high bandwidth and medium to long distances. The application. So, high bandwidth purpose and for the medium to long distance this step index optical fiber we use now the second one B part is multi mode step index optical fiber the dimension of the core and about the applications so this is multi mode this is multi mode the step index optical fiber the core diameter is 100 to 300 micrometer so multi mode step index optical fiber case the diameter of the core is start from 100 micrometer while in single mode step index optical fiber it was around 7 micrometer so this is the difference so diameter of the core is larger in case of multi mode step index optical fiber now the cladding diameter this is 140 micrometer to 400 
माइक्रोमीटर बफर जैकेट डायमीटर इज 400 हंड्रेड टू वन थाउजेंड माइक्रोमीटर न्यूमेरिकल अपर्चर इन केस ऑफ मल्टी मोड स्टेप इंडेक्स ऑप्टिकल फाइबर इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव अटेनवेशन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द अटेनवेशन इन केस ऑफ द मल्टी मोड स्टेप इंडेक्स ऑप्टिकल फाइबर इट इज टू पॉइंट सिक्स टू फिफ्टी डेसीबल पर किलोमीटर एट ए वेव लेंथ एट ए वेव लेंथ ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव माइक्रोमीटर लिमिटेड बाई एब्जोर्बन एंड स्केटरिंग लिमिटेड बाई एब्जोर्बन और स्केटरिंग सो दीज आर दी डायमेंशन ऑफ द कोर क्लैडिंग एंड बफर जैकेट एंड देन न्यूमेरिकल अपर्चर न्यूमेरिकल अपर्चर फॉर द मल्टी मोड स्टेप इंडेक्स ऑप्टिकल फाइबर इज इंक्रीजिंग इयर दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो एक द न्यूमेरिकल अपर्चर ऑफ एनी ऑप्टिकल फाइबर लाइज इन दिस रेन दैट विल बी multi mode step index optical fiber and now the multi mode is graded index optical fiber but before that i have to mention the bandwidth of the multi mode step index optical fiber bandwidth of this optical fiber is 6 to 50 megahertz kilometer so if you check here this is only 6 to 50 megahertz bandwidth is less as compared to the step in the single mode step index optical fiber there were was 500 megahertz so bandwidth in case of multi mode step index optical fiber is 6 to 50 megahertz kilometer and applications these fibers are best suited for short distances limited bandwidth and relatively low cost application so for the short distances we use multi mode step index optical fiber and now the graded index optical fiber multi mode graded index optical fiber what are the dimension for the core cladding and coating and then about the numerical aperture and bandwidth so multi mode graded index optical fiber number 1 the core diameter of this optical fiber starts from 50 to 100 micrometer in case of graded multi mode graded index optical fiber it starts from 50 micrometer and up to the 100 micrometer 
cladding diameter is about 125 micrometer to the 150 micrometer coating number 3 ye coating diameter is about 200 micrometer to the 300 micrometer and buffer number 4 the buffer jacket diameter is about 400 micrometer to 1000 micrometer and the range of numerical aperture is numerical aperture is 0.22 to 0.3 so here in this case of multi mode graded index optical fiber the range of the numerical aperture is increasing so this is 0.2 to the 0.3 attenuation in case of multi mode graded index optical fiber so attenuation means loss in a kilometer this is 2 decibel to the 10 decibel per kilometer that is the length of Zero point eight five micrometer with generally a scattering limit. Bandwidth in this case. multi mode graded index optical fiber the bandwidth is band width in this case is 200 mega hertz kilometer to 3 giga hertz kilometer and this is maximum in all the cases as compared to the multi mode step index optical fiber the bandwidth of this optical fiber is maximum that is the 3 gigahertz kilometer applications of this optical fiber this is best suited optical fiber for short and medium distances with high bandwidth applications so for the local area networks multi mode graded index optical fiber we use so these were the basic uh, uh, points related to the characteristics of the optical fiber and classification of the optical fibers and in the last in this section i have just defined uh, some properties of the optical fiber in terms of the diameter of the core the range of the numerical aperture the bandwidth and their application for the short distances or long distances